We have a question from Paul. I have a question about work capacity training. Good, thank you. I am currently reading Tim Anderson's wonderful book, The Becoming Bulletproof Project. Yeah, it's a very good book. Uh, Tim does good work. In it, Tim sets out a compelling case for doing work capacity training to build strength for what life throws at you. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I would appreciate your thoughts on this type of training versus a more traditional reps and sets approach. Uh, Paul, first off, don't get into an either or thought here. Uh, don't don't go down that idea that Tim thinks crawling and carrying are, are, are the answer to all questions and Dan, John, and all the others are saying five sets of five. That's, uh, Tim and I uh, very much uh, uh, knit together. Uh, first off, let me explain my concept of work capacity, okay? Uh, basically, it's this. It's kind of, this is the way I teach it. You come home from shopping for Thanksgiving, and in your car, the back of your car, you have 18 bags weighing between 5 and 10 kilos, 10 and 20 pounds. And to get into your kitchen, you have to go up a flight of just 10 stairs. So the Dan John approach, you strap all 18 bags on there, and you you muscle it up, and you go up that those 10 stairs, and you put them down and go, whew, done. Somebody else listening goes, that's stupid. I would pick up one at a time. But now that's 180 stairs. Hmm. So maybe someone else is thinking, no, I would do four. If that's too much, I go to two. And if that's not enough, I go to three. That's fine. To me, what work capacity is being able to do that entire matrix of one bag or 18 bags at once in uh, all the little ways in between. So for me, but when I think of work capacity, I don't want to say it's a sliding scale. What I want to say is it's the ability to have a lot of capacities in a lot of different um, things that are thrown at you, challenges, if you will. Uh, Tim and I both agree uh, on the idea that crawling and carrying are the best ways to build work capacity. The push, the pull, and squat are the best ways I know to build hypertrophy. The hinge is the best way I know to get people to hit other people harder and to throw stuff far. Uh, and the loaded carry family and the, and the crawling and the monkey bars and all that stuff, that's the best way to build work capacity. Uh, so what you have here now then is you have a lot of tools and you need all the tools somehow if you're break, uh, building a, an American football player or a rugby player or a collision occupation person. Uh, if you're building a discus thrower, you need hinge and you need some work capacity. If you're building uh, a person who just wants to look good and feel good, push, pull, squat three days a week, some hinges, and then some work capacity so when they get a phone call, Danny, will you help me move a couch? They can get in the car and go help me move that couch. So, Paul, there is no, there is no divide here. We agree completely with each other. And one thing I do like about your question, it does give me a chance to come back to something I first wrote about in 40 years with a whistle, but snapacity, snapacity, snap capacity. And when I coach elite athletes, what I'm trying to do is build up their snap, which is basically the hinge, but of course, with all the other movements uh, supporting that. And then the ability to do that more and more and more. So maybe when I first worked with the discus thrower, a, a relatively competent one, uh, that thrower might have three good throws in a workout. Well, part of my job is to build up the number of good throws in a workout, and that would be what I call snapacity. Uh, when, when I was in my best shape Olympic lifting, I could probably snatch and clean and jerk a fairly high number of heavy attempts. One of the things I've noticed in my career as I've moved away from you know, snatching and clean and jerking three to five times a week is I don't have the capacity to snatch and clean and jerk like I used to. You know, uh, I've got, the only time I go heavy is at weightlifting meets now. And that's every couple of years. I have one coming right up. Uh, that's the only time I go heavy. I don't have the snapacity that I used to have. Uh, and I'm going to be sore, sore, sore the next day. Uh, I hope that helps. Good question, Paul. Thank you.